Hey guys, my name is Ghost Chal, and I can't believe I'm saying this so soon. We've hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, I, for, um, <laughs> I didn't think I'd feel so emotional doing a video. Um, because, wow, I mean, we've hit 2,000 subscribers really soon. And, you know, I said to you guys in past videos over the last few weeks, you know, please keep, let's keep getting to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And, you know, we've only just started the last month, and you guys have absolutely smashed it. Um, we're only, a, we're already a couple of subscribers over 2,000 on the dot already, as far as we're recording this. Um, but, wow, just absolutely wow. And, you yeah, know, thank you so much to everyone for congratulating me on YouTube. Uh, I should say a massive congratulations, first of all, to the Sidemen for reaching 10 million. You know, fair play to the guys. Um, but, you know, it's just amazing. It's just incredible. And, you know, I couldn't have done this without you guys. I really, really couldn't. When I started this channel, I was like, you know what? What I want to do... I was thinking in my head about starting the channel, what do I want to do? Back in 2018. And I was like, you know what? I know what I want to do. I want to report on Theme Park News. I want to do some discussion videos. I want to have some fun with it. I want to bring my personality into it. I don't want it to be like a just a generic robotic voice of presenting i wanted to be my personality inflicted as well and have some comedic moments and i know i know there is a fan channel for this channel out there somewhere and i know who they are and i know they're probably going to post a video um collecting all my bloopers and outtakes that was still in the videos i know they're going to do that at some point but <laughs> it's just it's just around the corner isn't it but you know to get to 2,000 subscribers, and might I add, over halfway to 1 million views by the time I'm recording this as well, I, ca I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. And I've said this before, 2021 is going to be a very exciting year. And the reason why I say this is because I'm telling the truth. We've potentially got a video collab in the new year. We've potentially got Blackpool on February 6th at the Pleasure Beach. So if you're there... On the opening day of Blackpool Pleasure Beach on February 6th, if the tier systems are kind, I will be down there on February 6th, 2021, for the opening day of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I will be down there. Uh, I will try and get the train as early as possible, as early as they start, uh, just in case the times run a bit late. But, um, you know, I'll try and get to Pleasure Beach as early as I can uh, before the opening gates. And, you know, I, I mean, I, c I can't thank you guys enough, man. I mean... This is just, this is amazing. This is actually incredible. Um, I'm lost for words. I'm completely lost for words. Um, massive thanks to my family for all the support they've shown on the channel and now all the support they've shown me personally. Um, massive shout out to all of you, the fans. You know, you guys have supported me in every single thing that I've done. You know, no matter what I've talked about, I've always had your support. Um, I am, I, to be fair, I am actually planning, hopefully, um, next week to do a bit of a different video, and that's, uh, I'm a Celebrity 2020 review, so if you want to stay tuned for that, then please comment down below what are your thoughts to it, I might share at the end of the video, um, in, in that particular video, but I'm thinking about reviewing I'm a Celebrity, because of course, you know, you guys, you, you sneaky guys voted, 68% of you sneaky guys voted for me to do it. Uh, in future years, and you know what, I thought, might as well, <laughs> might as well have a review of it this year while start. it's a show that many of you wanted me to do, um, and, you know, anything I've wanted to go into, whether it was working with someone, working with a brand, working with a company on the video, could be having it in the new year, um, taking part in something, you guys have always been behind everything I do, and you'll still be behind everything I do, because that's your kind of fan, that's the kind of fan base I've got, you are so supportive, you'll support anything positive that I do, nothing negative, and I'll never do anything negative, but anything positive, you'll always support me, and uh, that's the biggest reward of doing YouTube, not the money, not the, the fame and recognition, it's the fact that you guys support me in everything I do, which is brilliant, um, one main thing I wanted to do when I started this channel was to be a pioneer for new generation of YouTubers, to be a role model. And, you know, with the kind of fans I get and the messages I get from fans, I'm, I'm slowly but surely starting to realise I'm becoming a role model. And, you know, 
that's the, that, again, again, like the the role model stuff. That's another one of the great rewards of doing this. And you know, I'll always reply to you guys. I'll always, yeah. Obviously, you know, if, if I'm in, if I'm in a camp in Australia for three weeks, then I won't get to reply. But I will come back and reply to you guys straight away. <laughs> Don't you worry, guys, about that. Um, but no, you guys have supported me in everything I do. And, um, you know, I can't thank you enough for that because I don't know where I'd be without the support. So, you know, I'm going to continue doing this channel for as long as I can. Theme Park YouTube has been an underrated piece of YouTube. I think gaming, um, pranks, challenges, they're the kind of big genres and music, of course, on YouTube as well, gaming. And I think theme parks and attractions needs to be bigger. I think it needs to be more recognised. And I'm not saying that in a nasty way like YouTube, you better recognise theme park YouTube. In. I'm saying YouTube, I'd love you to recognise the hard work that we do. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, I, I mean, to be fair, presenting is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, acting is something I've always wanted to do. Musical theatre is something I've always wanted to do. You know, got a better voice. And, um, you know... Doing all these kind of things and and stepping into my out of my comfort zone, doing different projects, it's lovely to get that kind of range. And you know, there's there's bound to be. You know, I mean, I mean, come on, this year's been a big year, not just for the world, but and I can't believe I'm saying this in a world where we've been in uncertain times. This has actually been the best year for the channel because we've done so much project. We've done so many projects. We've continued doing the usual stuff, but we've done so much. I got to do interview opportunities. I got to be on BBC Radio Sheffield. Massive shout out to those guys again, man. And that was still a great day. That was a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, I know I know, loads of you are tuning in. And, um, you know, you guys watched the video I explained about that and how that came about. And again, I can't thank the guys enough at BBC for that. Um, and this is only the start. This is only the beginning. I will keep doing these projects. I'll keep doing entertaining videos to switch up the content a bit. And uh, keep relating it to theme parks, but switching up the content, you know, like I do in the past with the uh, with the, the 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 ultimate team pack openings, you know, the the team of the season pack openings themed to theme parks, and you know, I'm thinking about doing another one of those, like a Christmas edition, just to bring the series back, um, using TV shows and crossing them over, and you know, uh, I might, you never know, I might create like a custom paddle. And do like a strictly like results thing for different coasters at one park. Like I do with the Amma Celebrity and the Thorpe coasters. So I might do that kind of video again. Dancing on Ice crossover I want to do. And I know I've had messages from people saying do Dancing on Ice in the next couple of years. Trust me, if they approached me, I'd accept it in a heartbeat. Um, but, you know, I think overall this year has been the best year. And I think, it's gonna, I think next year is going to be an even better year. I think... You gotta, you've got to keep topping yourself as a YouTuber. So you've got to keep topping every single year. And 2021 is going to be an even bigger year. I can guarantee you that whatever happens. So, you know, hope... I mean, next year at the minute is uh, hopefully Blackpool in February. Um, hopefully a collaboration in the new year with a company. Um, if, all go, if all keeps going to plan. It's all been accepted and that thing. But, of course, plans can change between now and then. So... You know, it's all been accepted and all going ahead, but it's sort of last minute changes. So in case there's no last minute changes, Blackpool in February, collaboration in the new year. Um, hopefully Alton Towers around March time, I hope. Um, York Maze Hall of Screamer Halloween around this time next year, uh, or a couple of months this, at that time next year. Um, other Halloween projects as well. I'll keep trying to get some interviews with people for the Coast Child Chat series. Uh, hopefully when BGT comes back in, we'll uh, get some contestants on there as well. Um, and next year is going to be a bigger year, guaranteed. And um, I know that you guys are going to support me through that. Um, it's going to be a massive year because that is the year, well, halfway through 2021, will be the official full-time YouTube career basis. So we'll start full-time officially halfway through next year. And, um, you know, it's going to be a big year. And you guys are going to come with me on the journey wherever I go. So... Um, I can't wait to see what the future lies ahead. I can't wait to see what we're going to get involved with next year. And, um, you know, it's going to be a big year. So, um, there we go. So, that's just that's just a video just to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Um, I didn't think we'd pass it so soon. Uh, but it shows the support you guys have. Here is a goal opportunity. 
Next year, by the end of 2021, I would like to get to 10,000 subscribers, which would be amazing. So please, please, please do that. Please get the channel to 10,000 subs at least. And um, by the end of next year, and you know, you guys will be a massive help. I don't care about the views, you know, if we get to a million as well, that'd be brilliant to get to a million next year as well, along with 10,000 subscribers. Um, but please, please support the channel in any way you can. All the social media links are still in the description down below. You can submit your video ideas using the Google Forms link as well. Uh, you can vote for me, Clamshell Awards, if it's still open by the time you're watching this. Uh, the link might not be there if the vote's closed, but if the link is there, then you can still vote. Um, so please go and vote for me if it's still open by the time you're watching this for the Clamshell Awards. I'd love to win Best Established Channel, Best Vlogger, because that's all about presenting. So maybe presenter-wise, I could win Best Vlogger. Who knows? <laughs> um, and for now, guys, thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day, and thank you very much.